I'm really excited today to be in St. Louis, Missouri, where we are judging the Australia versus USA Barbecue Championship. We're here at Barbecue ASAP. They are so kind to host this event, and we have the Barbecue ASAP team versus the Australian team. They've been here cooking all night, and I'm certain it's going to be some delicious barbecue. Barbecue competitions have really become a sport and an international sport at that. We're seeing barbecue contests spreading all over the globe. I think because of um, television and food television in particular, people are very cognizant of what's happening in American competition barbecue cooking. And what I saw prep wise and what I heard flavor profile wise, it seems as though the Aussies are taking a play from our book. We'll see if that is indeed the case. Barbecue is really a uniquely American cuisine. It's something that we've wrapped our arms around and stomped our foot down and we own it. Um, Americans own barbecue. In a barbecue restaurant, uh, it's usually the gathering place for a community. So people come in, they come in from all over the world, even to our restaurant in southern Illinois in a teeny tiny town. They find their way there and they come in as a guest, but they leave as family. So today at the Barbecue Challenge, they are cooking brisket and ribs, which are pretty standard American barbecue contest fare. We're also cooking lamb, and I'm very curious to see how the Americans fare. Um, Australia is known for its lamb production and lamb cooking, so they may have a leg up on the competition there. Well, I've been working really, really long and hard on my lamb chop. I'm going to do a lamb lollipop. And I know the Australians cook a tremendous amount of lamb and they're probably extremely good at it. So I've been practicing up because I felt that would be my weak category. Every country barbecues just a little bit differently, but when you do that, when you come to a competition, you've got to adjust your style, your flavor profile to fit the local judges because you're not bringing your judges with you from your country. A little bit of national pride. I mean, it'll be good to get back with my dad and compete again. It's been a while since we've been in the kitchen together. So kind of a revival, reunition, and I think we'll have some fun. If we beat them, it'll feel pretty good. Okay. Um... You know, once you start cooking barbecue, it sort of gets a little bit addictive, and obviously it tastes good, so you keep on doing it more and more. And then so when the opportunity came up for this competition, um, it just sounded too good to be true. You know, who doesn't want to go to America and eat barbecue? and cook against the best. Obviously the Randalls have lots of trophies and they obviously know what they're doing so you know if we don't win we're gonna win we're gonna win we got this yeah. Barbecue is um, pretty much um, kind of what unites us we were um, doing that thing that you do once you start to cook food you take photos of it we share that on Instagram and then through the Grammy thing starting to see the best pictures percolate to the top from liking each other's pictures to realizing we were 20 minutes away from each other in location no idea we're in the same city, same state, and then all of a sudden finding out we're neighbors. Um, that was what sort of brought it together. Very respectful of the fact that, you know, US barbecue is where it's at. Um, you know, the, the USA guys didn't come to us, we came to them. Um, so we're here to prove something, but, you know, we're gonna bring it. We, we think we've got a good chance. You have to watch the pit, and the pit um, really will go to sleep if you go to sleep. So we're gonna spend a sleepless night sitting next to our barbecues, um, waiting for that, you know, all important brisket and ribs to come to temp. The competitors really brought their game today and the food was so delicious. I think our scoring was really just points apart. We are here in St. Louis, Missouri, where it is a little chilly, but things have been heating up at this barbecue competition. We're here with Team Australia and Team USA who are battling it out for this trophy. Team Australia, how did it go last night? Man, it was a tough, it was a really tough night. A lot of things went wrong, um, and the good guys were a tough competition. Yeah, agreed. And how about you, Team USA? Are you bringing home this trophy? Uh, we certainly hope so. It was minus three Celsius last night, and these boys are bringing game. It's going to be a challenge. The envelope, please. And the winner is Team Australia. Oh, oh! Gentlemen! Yeah. Gentlemen! Oh, dude. Well done, oh, well done. That's great, dude. You guys are killer, man. Oh, God. Killer. Awesome. Oh, man. That's that's great. Great.
meet you. Smokers, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Jim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good. I'm Jim. Nice to meet you, Jim. Barbecue ASAP. We know all about you. All right. What's your name, man? We're Chuck Knuckle Smokers. Grant. Chuck Knuckle Smokers. Grant. Well, welcome to the U.S., mate. Welcome. Welcome. Just gotta watch out, don't take that back, this brush is shocking. No, that's sick. No brush marks. Yes. And it's gonna sit. So what are you guys thinking about with your sauce? Um, so we got we got two different types of ribs going on. Yeah, we're not sure which one we're gonna turn in yet. We've we've both got our ribs and we both agree on them, so we've decided to go with whatever takes the best on the day. Split, and that way we can choose which one. Okay. So okay. <laughs> this is actually our 101st competition, but gentlemen, before I go there, let me say, third competition and you're already here, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> but we're on our 101st competition. Uh, we're celebrating 10 years this year getting into this, and I mean, we've cooked everywhere from Memphis in May a number of times. We did the U.S. championships when they were still in Little Rock. We did the world championships out in Kansas City for a couple of years. Uh, Murfreesboro, Jakey in June, you got Maryville, Illinois, uh, there's a bunch around here, like I was telling you last night, if you want to, you can honestly compete every single weekend, you could even do two events in one weekend. Wow. The little babies. Done. Good color over there. That's epic. Yep. In about. Now I've done three. Done all three. Tonight, that's tonight on, tonight on radio. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's exactly what I'm going to do after this, I think. Well, you can get the instructions on that. Well, I see why you went that way. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that Smoke does will get in your eyes. That you get, is like, Got that wood going. <laughs> All right, get her down there. Good night, baby. See you in 12 hours. That's a great part of American barbecue. Well, that's a great part of barbecue, period. Right, brothers, in Australia? Beer, meat, fire, something primal about it. It's awesome. We all love it, and we're all brethren. To, to you, Australia.